And we are live. This is the second edition of the Go Live with Will show. And today we have a special guest. Her name is Eileen. She's a fantastic business owner. She is going to be introducing herself and tell us some little secret. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> so let's welcome our guest. Hey, Eileen. Hey, how are you? Good, 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 good. How is everything? Everything is good. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, before we go ahead, is it snowing in uh, BC? Are you, you're in BC, right? No, I oh, am Alberta. in Alberta. Yeah, Alberta. I'm okay. in Edmonton Sorry. right now. <laughs> so is it snowing? Uh, I heard it snowed. You know, I have been, um, I wasn't able to go outside all the time now. I only okay. go for uh, no, for uh, appointments. Okay. So I'm basically home. Don't even bother going down the stairs or <laughs> otherwise I'll crawl. Because <laughs> I had this accident almost five, five months now. Yeah. And so uh, mobility is my problem right now. But I'm doing okay. well in oh. the business. <laughs> so sorry. Sorry to hear that. I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you just introduce yourself to our viewers so they know who they are listening to? Okay. Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. Good afternoon. Good morning. Uh, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Eileen. I am born and raised in the Philippines and now living here in Alberta, Canada with my family. I am a wife, a mom, an early childhood educator, and a digital business um, owner, mentor, and coach. Awesome. 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 Um, now, I know that you've been in this business for a while, but um, I got uh, a question for you. Okay. Um, what was your first or what was your life like before getting into this business? Okay. Uh, before the business, I thought we're doing okay, right? Because we have, you know, a stable job. I have been in my um, in childcare industry for over 15 years. Uh, it's a pretty wow. stable job. Everybody needs people in the daycare, right? Yeah, <laughs> we yeah, we true. are one of those um, uh, jobs that's always available for everybody for uh, for uh, all the time. Like even in pandemic, we were shut yeah, down for a yeah. while, but then we're back as we are part of those people who are necessity. <laughs> we need that's to, true. you know, right? That's for people, true. for uh, for the families to go to work, they need us, right? That's so true. yeah, so it's a pretty stable job. Everything's doing well. My husband, he works as an engineer. So um, we're pretty okay. Or so we thought, okay, or I thought, right? We get to do, you know, the usual thing, the regular thing, go on vacation and stuff like that, buy whatever yeah. we want. But I don't, I never thought that, you know, there's more, <laughs> there's more to being an employee or just, you know, waiting for retirement to come. So like anybody else, our day starts in a rush, right? <laughs> Morning rush is like normal, right? Normal. Oh <laughs> like, if you don't want to go on a rush, you have to like wake up earlier, which is I'm not a fan of, right? So I would always rush in the morning, get ready for uh, work. And sometimes if my husband is out of town, like right now, I have to like uh, bring my daughter to the school bus and then hop in my car and drive as fast as I can, <laughs> not exceeding the, the city limit. Okay? <laughs> and then... Normally, I would just, you know, my car would be, you know, filled of crumbs because I'm eating inside the car. <laughs> and sometimes if the school bus is late, I'm like, I have to call like, hi, guys, the bus is not here. I'm going to be late, blah, blah, blah. And like, OK, what time are you coming? You know, but they're pretty good at that. But I am needed at work. Right. But we have you know, we have a child that needs to go to school. So it's kind of hard. So so that's that's the morning, rushing to work. And my boss would always say, oh, my gosh, Eileen, you cannot come, like, right on time. You have to be at least 5, 15 minutes earlier. That's usually the complaint, right? 
we need you here just in case we help you know less people yeah. and so um i would do my nine to five and then you know go drop by the grocery for missing something and then you know cook dinner help with homework and then it's like you know you don't even have time to relax right because there's dishes to put away and if you stay longer in the dining table it's almost like 9 10 o'clock already right and i'm not a fast eater i like to enjoy my food as you can see in my page right <laughs> so yeah so it's it's and then at night i have to make sure my daughter is sleeping and then and then there's the me time because i need to chill right i need to chill yeah. so i would watch netflix or k drama or stuff like that just to feel like there's some time for myself, right? Some time, yeah. like some quiet time. Because, you know, working for eight hours in the daycare is like party, <laughs> kitty party all the time. And it's so <laughs> hard to like, I need a quiet moment for myself. So I yeah. would just sit down and watch episode per episode. And then, oh my gosh, it's so like late already. And so I'm missing a lot of, you know, sleep. And then I'm gonna do it again. And of course, by Tuesday, Wednesday, you're tired already. <laughs> I can't wait for Friday. Friday, when is Friday? <laughs> if it's a long weekend, I'm like super excited. Yes, yes, extra day. You know, that's that was my life. I don't know about you, but that's what's for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just laughing because I can totally relate to what you're saying because, uh, you know, my like uh, my wife, she works in a daycare mm. and, you know, it's just like that, you know, whenever we wake up, you know, we wake up very early or sometimes uh, if we wake up late, we have to drive like hell <laughs> to get to the daycare on time <laughs> because the parents with their kids, they are waiting at the gate and, you know, it's it's something so i i totally relate with what you're what you're you know saying yeah, yeah. and when the weekend comes it's like oh what a break we need this break <laughs> yes there was this uh a year when we moved here in alberta that uh that was my first time driving yeah. and then i found the work i sacrificed that that job because I put my daughter in that school. I just want to make sure because uh, before my daughter went to kinder, I made the decision. I don't know if you guys saw my post for today, but back when I had my, my child, I stayed with her and set up a home daycare. So okay. I don't have to, you know, bring her to the daycare because I don't yeah. like that because yeah. that's heartbreaking for me. So what I did was like, set up a daycare until she went to kinder and when she went to kinder i i was hired in a school out of care out of school care and yeah. so i decided to put my daughter in that school but that was all the way in the north okay wow. <laughs> all the way in the north and we're in the west wow. and that that kind of work i was it's a split shift so i opened the school and yeah. i closed the school so okay. i barely need the sunlight except on my break hours wow. so wow. it was like oh my gosh and i i did it for a year and that was my first time you know driving and yeah. because it's kind of um, it's kind of like in the suburban right so mm -hmm. the the the, pe the people that's driving in that area are like big trucks okay. definitely definitely <laughs> definitely and i was like <laughs> this is so scary so i was like oh my god lord take care of me when i'm driving because especially in the winter oh my gosh and then there's a trail track that wow. when you when you are like something happened you it will cut your way good luck because you might wow. get late because it takes forever oh my yeah, gosh yeah yeah this is what we do, you know, this is the life that we do. Wow. <laughs> so I guess, uh, you know, seeing this business was like a blessing. It is, know? it is. Yeah. So what, uh, what can you say has happened ever since you got this business? You know, how has been your life after it, the business? It, it's like a breath of fresh air, you know? Nice. I came here in Canada as a as, um, caregiver. And okay. because I was over age for my mom to uh, um, bring me here as an immigrant. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they, my mom, she's very, she wants to make sure that I live a good life. So she makes sure that she brings me here, right? So at that mm -hmm. time, all we can do is, you know, for me to come in as a caregiver. And I'm so happy with that, right? So um, coming here when I was, you know, in my 20s, I was like surprised that this is the life here. I thought this is the holy land, the holy <laughs> grail of holy grail, right? This is a good <laughs> life. I'm coming to Canada. Uh, yeah. You know, it's so hard to live in the Philippines. But here you have to be, you know, you have to work like nonstop, right? That's One true. job, two jobs or whatever, right? Yeah. So um, when I found this business, I... Can you hear my daughter? She's screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't hear her. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> she's screaming, which is playing with the dog. Um, okay. So when I found this business, I, it gave me hope. Because the moment I stepped in Canada, I realized that this is the life, this is the kind of life that we have here. And it's yeah. kind of it's kind of crushing all your young person's dream right when you thought life's gonna be better it it did get better but it took time right yes it took me like over 20 years to you know be living in our own home that we can call right and th things like that you have to like it's not like i thought it's gonna be easy but it's yeah. not there's a lot of sacrifices in between so when i found this business wow i was like blown away just just right in the beginning right i'm like wow this is <laughs> happening i didn't know about this how come i didn't know about this and actually when i saw the webinar that was yeah. the only time that i saw an ad that was like that was just the first time and then i i, I asked for information right away wow nice and yeah, I was like, like that's like a big time. Like, whoa, I found I found gold here, right? So I was just so happy I did found it because it gave me hope. It gave me hope. And two years later, this it continued to assure me that everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be taken care of. You know, stay in the game, never ever quit, and you're gonna get there. So it changed a lot because first of all, there's the hope now. And then I see, you know, uh, before it's like always negative, like right? always negative in the bank account. Like, you know, it's like paycheck to paycheck, right? You know, it's like the bills are coming and then there's the salary, but the salary almost goes straight to the, to the bills, right? Yeah. There's barely anything. And at some point I was like thinking, maybe I need a second job. To, you know, to have, you know, so I can go to, you know, do something else, right? Like, yeah. you know, have my pamper or me time somewhere, those extra things. But I said, I'm tired already from work, right? So how can I do that? But because of this business, I can just work it on my phone yes. and on the laptop and I can be home and relaxing. I started this business when... uh. Uh, you know, like like most of us, we started this on the side, right? Yeah. So it's working on the side and it's been working since I started it. And so what changes is that there's always extra. I started, you know, building my savings. I am very, you know, my plan is to, you know, build this as quickly as I could so I can, you know, quit my job. Because yeah. when I first started this, I suddenly realized that, wow, I don't have to wait until I'm 65 to quit. Because a lot of people in doing this business, they quit already. There's hundreds of them. Yeah. So it's what's <laughs> possible for them is possible for me. And it's That's like true. a no-brainer, right? It's yeah. no-brainer. If they can do it, there's a system involved. There's a support that is, you know, working. It can happen to me. So I started thinking, wow, this business will actually quit my job right and yeah. what else um it's hard and what else um now um you know i can just you know buy whatever i want <laughs> buy whatever i want right like before i have to think 
five times before I, you know, like some of them like, oh, should I buy this? No, I do have to buy the grocery, right? Things like that. And you always have to stop yourself. You work so hard and yet you cannot just, you know, use it for whatever you want. That's true. And then now it's the, the, the finances is not an issue anymore because this business keeps growing and keeps giving. Yeah. And so when awesome. we have this extra in our lives, yeah. it's so much easier to give back to others, right? That's like true. Uh, it's so much easier. There's a lot of circumstances like, you know, even, even, you know, donating or stuff like that. It's so much easier. Now you can let go of like a hundred, 200, like even a thousand now, because, you know, if they need it, because my, my, my like my mentality is that it, i'd rather be giving than receiving because it's easier to give than to be in that position yeah. where you don't have right yeah and in my life i we are not rich right i grew up in like like a household that's a single income right so i know how to have nothing and I never want that for my child. And to be able to give to those who are in need is yeah. su such a blessing because, you know what, it's like, I, I'd rather give than to be in that situation, right? So yeah. this business provide all of this, the ease of leaving yeah. uh, two years later. It's not a quick rich scheme, okay? If you guys are thinking yeah. this is a quick, this is not for you, okay? <laughs> <That's true. laughs> like true. this is a legit business that so we work yes. hard for it. So um, we work hard, but like what is hard? Posting on social media, we call that <laughs> hard, right? <laughs> I'm That's not true. even stepping out of my house so to do this. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's you know. By the way, guys, uh, today is going to be. Um, uh, a free online workshop. So uh, if you're watching, you have our links, uh, you can uh, join us uh, in the free workshop. You have Eileen uh, and also my link as well. Uh, click on them and uh, you can join our free online workshop. Yeah. Uh, like she said, this business is not a get rich quick scheme. Um, people walk, you know, their self off to get to where they are. If you are in the, uh, probably on my Facebook page or Eileen's Facebook page and you're seeing things we are posting and all that, we are hardworking business owners. So we are not scheming anybody. We do the work no. that is necessary. The good thing is that we have uh, a reliable system that does all the heavy lifting for us, that uh, makes things easier for us as business owners. So. If you're thinking what kind of business can you do, there's a perfect business, just click on our links and join the uh, free online workshop. Thank you, Eileen, for that question. And <laughs> you're welcome. we come to the personal part. Okay. <laughs> yes, I got a question for you. What is okay. your best pastime mm. activities? I have watching a movie, listening to music, reading a good book, the outdoors. Can I do all of the above? Because <laughs> I like the outdoors as like we yeah. have camping. Because when you go camping, you don't see the laundry, right? You don't see the messes yes. and cleaning. You're stuck in the woods. So that's, that's a good place to be. So you either go watch a movie. Nothing will, you know, nothing will bother you. Read yeah. a book while the music is playing. Nice, nice. That's a a very special uh, a, a very special pastime <laughs> but maybe if i'm just home i will just watch a movie because i don't have to like uh i i'll be concentrating and not thinking of something else yeah sometimes we tend to be workaholic That's true. That's <laughs> I, true. I tend to be workaholic so yeah. i like i need to focus on something yeah that's that's true that's true uh, you know like myself my time of relaxing is just 
uh, you know, just stay and just watch Netflix. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> right? I love yeah. K-drama. I love, I don't know if you know K-drama. It's a Korean drama. I'm so addicted to it. Okay. That's no, no, I'm not worth it. Me time. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, guys, we, we, we are human beings, you know, we yes. are everyday people. We watch movies, we work hard and play hard and, you know, yep. we're human beings. So it's all right to watch movies. <laughs> yes. And my final question for you, what okay. country would you like to visit? as part mm. of your bucket list. If you okay, have I, one country. I want to go to France. France. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we're supposed to go there a few years back, but uh, we canceled it. I was okay. so excited to go there. But one day I will go there because I love castles. I love royalties. I love nice. old buildings. I love history. Yeah. So that would be a perfect, like, place for me to be to be soaking in you know soaking in the place the culture the food yeah, yeah that's <laughs> my dream place to be nice 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 that's a very good choice <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably you'll learn french when you get there yeah we 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 nice nice Thank you so much, Eileen. It was a wonderful uh, You're conversation, welcome. wonderful time with you. I really enjoyed your company. Aww. And thanks Same for uh, being my guest. You're and, welcome. Uh, we hope to uh, have you once again in the future. Sure. <laughs> thanks for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you once again, and uh, you have a great day. Bye, everyone. See you. Bye, guys. Yeah. So guys, that's my fantastic guest today in our second uh, episode of Go Life with Will show. I want to thank everyone that uh, joined us today to watch this uh, Go Live. And we hope to see you next week. Uh, today we flew to uh, uh, Edmonton, Alberta. And next week, uh, Thursday, we're going to be flying to Australia to meet our special guest. Her name is Gina. Uh, Jeannie, and she is going to be uh, telling us about herself and how this business is helping her. So thanks, guys, and I will talk to you soon again. Take care for now. William signing out. Bye.